Well, welcome back to my workshop here in Los Angeles. I'm Jack Bryant, and um, this is another eighth grade related project. Now, um, in an earlier episode, we showed the making of the stool. So here is one of the uh, first steps that we had to do is to make a circle. And then the second big step was to drill the holes for the legs. But the legs have to be drilled, and I don't know if you can see this, at an angle. Okay, that way it comes out with a nice support, and um, and those angles got to be exact, and they have to be the same. If you have one angle one way and another angle another way, it's going to come out lopsided and actually could tip over quite easy. So in order to get those angles all uniform that we're going to bore in, that the kids will bore in, um, I've made this jig. Now this jig is a very ugly jig. It's not very... Uh, fancy, but it definitely does the job. Now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the tools and equipment that you need for boring these holes. You know, if you want to make more than one jig, it's up to you how you want to set it up. But there are a couple things that are, are important about it. For one thing, the jig has to be wide enough for one of these uh, stools to fit in. Now, some of the wood you're going to use may be slightly bigger than 11 and a half inches, which is approximately what this wood is, maybe 11 and a quarter uh, wide and in diameter. So this in interior needs to be at le least that wide. Now if you look down here at this bottom piece here, it's an um, inch and a half thick board, same thickness as the stool, and it's got a rounded cut on it so that the stool top will fit right on that little lip. Okay, just like that. And then we can easily turn it to the next hole and to the next hole. Another thing you have to know is what are you going to drill the hole with? What kind of bit are you going to use? Now, this is the type of bit that you must use. It's got a screw on the end, and that screw goes into wood that's behind the stool. So this screw needs to go into some other wood to keep pulling it. So that's what I have this piece here for. It's removable, you know, as you, you've cut a hole in it. Okay, you can't use that same hole again, so you just trim that piece off, and then you have enough new fresh piece to go into. And that piece can be, you know, down, 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 down until there's nothing left, and then you throw it away and get another piece. You might think, oh, I have some of these around the shop. Well, these are great if you have a, a drill press, but you notice it doesn't have that screw on the end of it. So when you get through, it, it, it's going to take pressure to make this go into the wood. So the child will have to push the drill really hard to get it to go through. Now this one here could go right on a brace and a bit. However, it's not long enough. So what I've done is I've made my own little extender. And so this extends the length of this so that I can be at one end boring over here and the muscles are being used over here to turn it. And the other end is in here getting the, getting the work done. So the first thing we need to do is to build a frame. And the frame um, is going to be used to fasten all the front and the back and the angle to. But it also uh, creates a spot for the wood chips to follow into. So the frame is, the sizes of the frame are going to be based on the width of the stool itself. Now this particular plywood that I'm going to use is going to form the angle of the back and the back part of the frame. So I went ahead and pre-marked this and pre-measured it. So the, the beginning of this frame construction is going to be very simple. You've got the front and the back and the two sides. Okay? So we're simply going to nail these together with some glue. Now this width here is the same width as our stool. Okay, A little bit bigger. So we know that we can fit the stool down in, in this frame. So simply, I'm going to begin with two nails. Again, you want to come in about an inch. You're on the end of it. Sometimes it splits. And I'm going to simply put some glue on this end here. You don't need much. Now, do the same on the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead and nail these together. Put the glue on one at a time. Okay, 
There's our frame. Now we need a base. Now, if you make it so that the base extends past the frame, then you can put your clamps outside of the frame. So you can clamp it here, you can clamp it over here, or here, or over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the base just like that. In order to secure, secure that in, I'm going to simply put a piece along the front and a piece along the back. Okay. And I made a mark here on the inside edge where I'm going to put it. Now I'm going to go ahead and bend it over. Now if I went in any further, it would go into my table and I don't want that to happen. Okay, the next step is to place this over that. I'm going to put a couple of nails in this way. Okay, there we go. Pretty good. I flipped it over here, and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of nails from the base into the frame. Remember now, I'm just working on one end of it so far. So the next step, let's do the same thing on this side. We put that in, we nail it down. But before we do that, we need to check it for square. Okay, this should tell you if it's square or not. So if you look at that, you'll see that that is not square. So I can easily move this to make it square. There. Does it look square on that end? Yeah. Feels square. And I marked the two sides. So I can and I know that that's going to be square. Okay, now go ahead and put some glue on this. Maybe a little bit here. Won't hurt. And put that in here just like that and put a couple nails in hold that. Couldn't put a nail on this side. All right now we're here's our our frame and our base. We've got a lip on the sides all the way around it we can put the clamps on. We don't have to put the clamps on the inside and interfere with our work that we're doing. So now that we got this frame attached to the base, we've got everything ready to go here. We're going to be putting in the back, the upright back part of the project here. And that will go simply in just like that. Remember, I pre-cut it to the right size. I know it's going to fit with this particular size of stool. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue on here. So once I've got my glue on there, I'm going to go ahead and put two small screws and these are um, three quarter, no, these are one inch long, so they're not going to stick through the other side. Let's simply hold this together. Okay, so that's the back. It's nice and snug. You know, we could definitely put some nails in here, that wouldn't hurt it at all. You can see that nailing like this is not the most effective. It's always better to nail up and down. That way gravity of the gravity pulling the hammer down is much easier than trying to force it in this way. Okay, so the back is now attached. Pretty strong. The next piece will be the angle piece that will go like this at an angle. Well, this is an adjustable square. And if I take this and adjust it so that it fits up against this leg perfectly, using that same angle, and I could mark that if I wanted to. So I know that this is where I need to be, but on the inside, I need to have a piece here. So let's see if I have a piece that's just the right size already. Okay, it's pretty close. You see, it's within an eighth of an inch. So here's a space that's about inch and three quarters wide that I'm going to put down here. And that'll give me a little backup to our project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. Double check it for the angle. Make sure that nothing changed along the way. Looks beautiful to me. Okay, now 
I'm going to go ahead and drill some screws in this way and that way to hold that. Got our angle. You'll see this bottom piece has been cut into the same diameter or circumference of our stool. So that it'll fit right in there, nice and snug, while we're doing our drilling. Now over here I haven't done that yet. So this thing can wobble around and it's too low. So I'm going to lift it up just a bit. We'll go ahead and cut a piece that can give us a good angle there. Okay. So this is going to sit in here just like that. See what happens if I put this in here. It's like that. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this in and put some screws in, keep it from moving around. Pretty solid. You have to make this kid proof. Okay, those eighth graders, boy, they sure couldn't tear things apart if they really wanted to. But to me, this is a pretty solid piece. I might put a, another nail in here just to add a little bit of extra strength to it. Okay, so now the next step is to measure this hole to where the center of this hole is going to be in this jig. It is about two and three quarters. So I'm going to measure up here, two and three quarters. Okay. And then I want to go halfway between one and the other, and this is like 13 and a quarter. So it should be six and five eighths from the other side. So where these two cross is where I want to make it. Okay, so right there. Two and three quarters. You make that mark here, two and three quarters. We're halfway this way. And there's where I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to make those hole here about the same size as this so it'll fit through then I can put this on on the inside I don't have to make the hole this big because then it would be too sloppy and flop around all right there it goes it fits in there pretty good all right the final step I need to put a couple pieces on the side Okay, so this will go here. Okay, you see these marks here? This is for the piece that we're going to be drilling into, so it's removable. These other two are going to be fastened in, but we can always take this out, remove it, and get a new one once we've already drilled a hole, or just cut it like this and let it slide down. Again, a little bit of glue never hurt anybody, unless you eat it, I guess, and that's not going to be so good. Okay, that's ready to go. Put a little glue on, turn it, set it, get it ready to go. So we need, need to leave enough space in here for a 1x4 to go in, like this. Okay, and you can replace that whenever you need to. So basically that's it. This is a, a completed jig. Now to put it together, you're going to need to feed this handle in. Okay, you're going to put on your boring bit. So the basic idea is we're going to set going to set our piece in the back like that. We're going to put our stool in here so that it's lined up just exactly right. This is going to bore a hole in here just like that. And we're done. That's it. Okay, so the thing I really like about the new one that we just made, it's a little improved design over this other old one that I made years ago, um, because the base is wider than the whole frame, and you can get your clamps on the outside so they're not in the way of your work that you're doing with tightening and loose, loosening clamps and manipulating things around. So this is really a much improved version of the first one that we showed in a previous video. Okay, so here we go. There's a eighth grade project for the teacher. 
This is not for the students to be making these. Uh, you only need one in your wood shop if you're going to be doing a three-legged stool. You know, if you have a large group of children, maybe, you know, 20 kids, then maybe you want two or three of these made. But then you're going to have to have two or three of these and two or three of the bits. Now, these bits are not cheap. I mean, in, in the U.S. here, um, I think this is somewhere between $50 and $100 just for this one part. Again, this is an inch and a half wide. It's approximately six inches long. You don't need anything bigger than that. Um, if you do, you're just spending extra money for nothing. So I, I would um, I recommend that you get an extension bit like this. And that's all you really need. One's fine for a wood shop. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to have a special surprise for you. I hope you guys had fun. And always be safe. Bye-bye.